1. Context. In line with the International Health Regulations, IHR 2005, the WHO Director General convened a meeting of the IHR Emergency Committee on August 14, 2024, to address the resurgence of M. Hawks in the Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC, and several other African countries. Following the committee's recommendations, the WHO Director General declared the re-emergence of m as a public health emergency of international concern, but a C. Since 2023, the rapid spread of the clade 1 virus in the DRC, primarily through sexual networks, and its detection in neighboring countries, have raised significant concerns, leading to this declaration. It's crucial to recall that the global m outbreak which began in 2022 and was also classified as a PHEIC, was driven by the clade 2 MPXV virus, with cases still reported worldwide. During this global outbreak, transmission occurred mainly through sexual contact, particularly among men who have sex with men, MSM. 2. Hathogen Mpox Virus The Mpox virus is an enveloped virus with a double-stranded DNA genome, belonging to the orthopoxvirus genus in the poxviridae family. Two genetically distinct clades are recognized, clade I, previously known as the Congo Basin clade, Central Africa, and clade II, formerly referred to as the West African clade, subdivided into subclades IIA and IIB. Clade I is associated with more severe forms of the disease and a higher mortality rate. Hoxviruses, including the M. Hoxvirus, are distinguished by their exceptional resistance to drying and their increased tolerance to temperature and pH variations compared to other enveloped viruses, impacting their environmental persistence. Viruses of the orthopox virus genus are known for their prolonged stability in the environment, and viable MPXV particles can be detected on household surfaces at least 15 days after contamination. Despite this robustness, pox viruses remain sensitive to common disinfectants. The MPXV is considered a high-risk agent for deliberate release in the context of bioterrorism. 3. Transmission The virus is transmitted to humans through close contact with an infected person or animal or through contaminated products. Human-to-human -human transmission can occur through direct contact with infectious skin lesions or other lesions, such as those in the mouth or on the genitals. This includes contact, face-to-face -face conversation breathing, skin-to-skin -skin touching, vaginal-slash-anal intercourse, mouth-to-mouth -mouth kissing, mouth-to-skin oral genital contact or kissing the skin, via respiratory droplets or short-range aerosols requiring prolonged close contact. The virus can also be transmitted via contaminated objects, such as clothing or bedding, through injuries caused by sharp objects in healthcare settings or in public places like tattoo parlors. A modeling study estimated the early median R0 at 2.44, with significant variability between countries. 4. Contagiousness Individuals with m -hox are contagious and can transmit the virus until their lesions are fully healed and a new layer of skin has formed. Recent data show that virus transmission can occur up to four days before symptoms appear. 5. Clinical Presentation The incubation period for m -hox typically ranges from 6 to 13 days, but can vary from 5 to 21 days. The disease often begins with a combination of symptoms such as fever, headache, chills, intense fatigue, weakness, lymphadenopathy, back pain, and muscle aches. However, in some individuals, the rash is the first sign of the disease. This rash starts as flat lesions that evolve into fluid-filled vesicles, causing itching or pain. As they heal, the lesions form scabs that dry out before falling off. The number of lesions can vary from a few to several thousand, with a higher number often associated with more severe disease. Lesions can appear on any part of the body, including the palms, soles, face, mouth, throat, genitals, and anus. In the same patient, lesions can present at different stages of development, 
although those in the same area tend to appear and evolve synchronously. Occasionally, some lesions do not follow the usual progression pattern. Some individuals may experience painful rectal swelling, pain, or difficulty urinating. Others may be infected without showing symptoms, in proportions ranging from 1.3% to 6.5%. Most human cases present with mild to moderate symptoms, typically lasting two to four weeks, followed by full recovery. Most cases have shown lesions in the anogenital and perioral areas, accompanied by lymphadenopathy in regions draining the lesions. 6. Complications The severity of MPOX can vary depending on the road of transmission, the host's vulnerability, and the viral load. Children, pregnant women, the elderly and immunocompromised individuals are more likely to develop complications. These complications may include bacterial skin infections leading to abscesses and severe skin lesions, pneumonia, conjunctivitis, keratitis potentially causing vision loss, pain or difficulty swallowing, vomiting or diarrhea, which can result in severe dehydration or malnutrition, sepsis, encephalitis, myocarditis, proctitis, balanitis, and urethritis. Between 1% and 13% of cases required hospitalization for isolation, pain management or treatment of complications, such as rectal pain, penile swelling, secondary bacterial infections, epiglottitis, myocarditis, and encephalitis. 7. Diagnosis The diagnosis of MHOX primarily relies on real-time PCR testing of skin lesions using swabs, exudates, or scabs. In the absence of skin lesions, an oropharyngeal, anal, or rectal swab sample may be tested. 8. Case management. Medical evaluation is essential to determine the severity of the disease and the risk factors involved. Individuals at higher risk of developing severe forms may require hospitalization in isolation and slash or antiviral treatment. Home isolation is recommended until the rash is fully healed with regular medical follow-up. Treatment is mainly symptomatic and supportive, including the relief of fever, itching, pain, and ensuring adequate hydration. Preventing and treating secondary bacterial infections is also crucial. Tecavirimat is the only antiviral approved for the treatment of orthopox virus infections, including Mpox. Brincidofovir and Sidofovir are other options for severe cases, though they have significant side effects. 9. Vaccination The MHOX vaccine can help prevent infection. It should be administered within four days of contact with an infected person or up to 14 days in the absence of symptoms. This vaccine is recommended for people at risk, particularly during an outbreak exposed healthcare workers, men who have sex with men, individuals with multiple sexual partners and sex workers. Ken, focus on the 2022 global outbreak. During the 2022 global outbreak, the incubation period was typically seven to eight days, though shorter periods of two to four days were observed. Prodromal symptoms were not consistent, and in 50% of cases, they began after the appearance of the rash including fever, fatigue, myalgia, and headaches. Most patients had fewer than 20 lesions, which also affected the oral or ocular mucosa. The overall fatality rate during the 2022 outbreak was below 0.1%.